Anyone who knows anything about dinosaurs can tell you how terrifying it would be to face off against a T-Rex. Forty feet and nine tons of muscle and teeth is nothing to sneeze at, especially compared to our modern terrestrial predators. Polar bears are just adorable stuffed animals next to one of these guys. So just imagine how much more terrifying it would be if tyrannosaurs hunted in packs. Today we'll be looking at some recent studies claiming to provide evidence for this nightmarish idea. And if you're a paleontology fan, or just like cool monsters, now is a great time to hit the subscribe button. There are four separate fossil sites we'll be looking at today, covering multiple tyrannosaur species across the Cretaceous continent of Laramidia. The first, and possibly most dramatic, is the recently famous Rainbow and Unicorns Quarry in southern Utah. We actually have turtles to thank for this discovery, as the team that found these teratophonius individuals stumbled across them as they were looking for turtles somewhere in the Kuiperowitz Formation. They ended up describing a whole fluvial ecosystem, complete with a group of drowned tyrannosaurs, the turtles, and even a dinosuchus. The Teratophonius were buried in mudstone, and geochemical analysis of the rock revealed that these creatures, who were all different sizes and ages, died at the same time in the same place. The most likely culprit? Flooding. It's especially compelling that these individuals spanned a wide ontogenetic range from 1.7 to 8.7 meters long in maturity. They remind me of those little family stickers you see on the backs of cars, only much more bloodthirsty and weighing up to 2 tons. The stepladder age distribution, along with the evidence that they died together, led Alan Titus and his team to make a bold statement. Combined with ichnological evidence, these tyrannosaur mass burial sites could be part of an emerging pattern throughout Laramidia, reflecting innate tyrannosaur behavior such as habitual gregariousness. They also theorized that tyrannosaurids were gregarious, possibly parasocial carnivores engaging in <coughs> cooperative hunting and extended parental care. Now that's incredible. So let's take a look at these other sites they're referring to. A study in 2014 revealed a tyrannosaur trackway in British Columbia, Canada. This was the ichnological evidence just mentioned. The tracks of three separate tyrannosaurs assigned to the ichnogenus bellatoripes were found within a few meters of each other and moving the same direction. The authors wrote that the depth of the tracks and depositional environment indicates that the tracks were made at the same time. It's particularly interesting because other species that left tracks in the same area did not appear to be traveling together, while these monstrous predators did. Another piece of evidence for Tyrannosaur gregariousness is the famous Dry Island Quarry discovered by the legendary Barnum Brown in 1910. In the 111 years since, various digs and expeditions to the site have concluded that there are anywhere between 12 and 26 Albertosaurus specimens in this single bone bed. The quarry has been mentioned as evidence for pack behavior in Tyrannosaurus before, but standing on its own, it could be dismissed as coincidence. But when combined with these other sites, especially across different species, it seems the case is growing stronger. And of course, there's more. Curry et al. 2005 describes three Despletosaurus from the same bone bed in the Two Medicine Formation in Montana. If we're theorizing about pack behavior, or at least parasociality applying to T. rex, this may be the closest we've gotten. Despletosaurus, to my knowledge, is the largest tyrannosaur known to have a multi-individual bone bed. If any of you know of a bigger species, please comment below. While a pack of T. rex proper has not yet been discovered, there seems to be a trend among its close relatives of grouping together in ontogenetically diverse packs. Albertosaurus holds the record for the most individuals, as well as the greatest age range, but these sites describing similar scenarios for Teratophonius, Despletosaurus, and Bellatoripes certainly provide additional support to a compelling argument. At this point, it seems pretty likely that Tyrannosaurids engaged in group interaction, parental care, and as Titus's team said, possibly even cooperative, from cooperative hunting. <clears throat> so, to answer the title of the video, yes, probably, at least some species of Tyrannosaurs likely hunted in packs, indicating that there's a chance T-Rex did as well. It would not surprise me. So that's awesome. Make sure to check out more of the channel for paleontology content like this, and avoid any dark alleys with tyrannosaurs in them, because that would not end well.